What's up guys? As you already know, it's me Kira, and today we have some of the bread and butter ice climbers combos that all the top players make good use of. I know that for the more experienced crowd, this may not be the biggest surprise, but a lot of new people are starting to watch these that don't know anything about the tournament scene, and we want to include them too. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 1, Wave Dash to Jab Grab. The first, most essential thing all Ice Climbers players need to learn is the standard wave dash into jab grab combo. This is a great way to open up opponents and start abusing the Ice Climbers' insane grab desync game. If you happen to be flying solo, jab to down smash can finish them off as well. And if your opponent starts spamming rolls or spot dodging to get away, you can simply wait and grab or even charge smash attacks, or jab and wave dash to wherever they start rolling. Number 2. Up air to up air. This is one of the biggest tools Ice Climbers have aside from their insane grab game. Since they cover so much ground and threaten such a powerful grab, a lot of opponents like to stay in the air and move around on platforms to avoid dying. If a ground game was all the Ice Climbers had, however, they wouldn't be that strong of a character. But luckily for them, they have up air, one of the most powerful anti-air attacks in the game. It comes out super fast, you can move after it way sooner than most people think, and because they use hammers, it often beats other characters' moves straight up. If they're at lower percent and don't get launched as far from an up air as usual, you can also make use of this combo. Number 3. Sopo combos. You won't always have your partner around to help you out. So to make do with what you have, you'll have to develop some combos with just Popo. Up throw leads into dash attacks, which leads into more up throws and more dash attacks. You can chain this together at least twice before having to switch it up. And if your friends aren't too keen on the tournament scene, they probably won't fall away from your up throw, so you can just up smash them for free instead. Against more floaty characters, down throw can lead to a jump cancelled up smash or simply an aerial attack. Number 4. Down throw, down air chain grab. This works against some of the heavier characters in the game better than the floaty ones, but with both Ice Climbers, you can chain this together over and over again until your opponent finally learns how to smash DI. If you haven't already watched our desync guide, I highly recommend you start there first, but basically as you down throw, have Nana jump forward with a down air and re-grab immediately. Captain Falcon and Ganondorf usually end up behind Nana, but most other characters will be in front. And finally, number 5. Blizzard desync to forward smash. Again, to understand how this works, you'll have to watch our desync guide, but this serves a dual purpose of being defensive by nature, but still setting up for combos. At low percents, you can even get that juicy grab if they run into it. Alright, so I know what you guys are thinking. What about wobbling? Isn't that like the Ice Climbers' ultimate move? Well, you know what? You're right. It is. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Marth won the last comment war. I personally think Marth wins, so I agree with most of you. And some pros believe that there's like a triangle where Marth beats Falco and Falco beats Sheik, but Sheik beats Marth. But then again, all the pros have different opinions, so you never really know. This time, simply post in the comments what character should be next in the Essential Combo series, and we'll start working on it.